This is Luis Centenaro, and I'm going to be covering how to send an email newsletter campaign from a blog post. So the reason we're doing this is to deliver value to customers rather than just bombard them with discounts. We're going to share them a nice content piece, something that's funny, something that's relevant, and they can relate to, and hopefully they'll share with their friends who will find our site and purchase when they're ready to purchase. So what I'm going to do here so we're going to open up our email marketing software. You can use Klaviyo, you can use MailChimp. Klaviyo is a bit on the pricier end, but it has deep analytics and segments. So it's one of the more advanced e-commerce marketing platforms. And it doesn't have the bigger price tag. Companies like ListTrack will have, uh, and you still get all of that functionality. So what we're going to look for here is a blog. So this is the last blog campaign that went out. And we're going to keep this same type template. So it's real easy. We're just going to clone it. We're going to call this number four blog. And today is the 11th or 12th. And we're going to send this to everyone. So 37,000 people are going to get this. We're going to send it to everybody because it's important. And we're going to save and continue. So now that we have our campaign cloned, you're going to see it clone both variations. I love A-B testing, emojis, and subject lines. It's something that I'm going to write a piece on. So this is something I've been doing for a while. So let's just delete one variation for now. And we'll focus on editing this one, and then we can clone this one afterwards. So we're going to replace this image. And to do that, we can just copy this image here. Copy image address. So now we have the URL for the image. We can control V and this is now uploaded. You never want images in an email to be bigger than 600 as far as width. You'll see a lot of companies mess this up and when it comes through on your phone it's going to become pixelated. Make sure that they're always less than 600. If they're bigger you're going to go to edit image, resize, and then make sure that this is no bigger than 600. And now we're going to copy paste the first paragraph here. And it usually has really bad formatting unless we copy paste from a text editor or clear the formatting using this. So now that it's pasted, and I'm going to take a nice little link here. We're going to link this last sentence. It's proven that. Oh no, I just cloned this. It's proven that linking at the end increases click-throughs rather than linking in the middle. So now this is linked. Now we have to change up a couple more links. So to continue reading, it's leading to the last article. We're going to lead it to the new article now. I'm going to change the alt text. This is the alt text is what happens if they have images disabled. You'll be able to say, oh, that's the V-Day image. I can enable images. You always want to have the link and the alt text match the new image that you put in. 
So that's just done. Play this from this kick's block, vide, vide, continue reading. Very cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to send a test email. So send one to Mero. Oops. Send one to Mero. Send one to yourself. We can also preview it directly in Clavio. Link goes through. Picture goes through. Nope. The picture is still going to storm your court. A fan favorite. So we need to change that. So is that continue reading article. So that did not save. So let's make sure. That we're leading to the right article here. That's why we double check. Save changes. Yep, that works. And that's working. And then that link is leading to the right thing. Perfect. So save this content. And now we are going to write the subject lines. I use this tool called convert case whenever blogs have all capitalized case. We just type it in here or all uppercase and we'll change it to capitalized case. Quick and easy, I don't have to rewrite it. It's probably saved me an hour of my life so far. And we have our first variation. So I should have updated the subject line before. They're gonna see a tool, they're gonna see the wrong subject line. And Now that I'm doing that, I'm going to go in and add some emojis. It's a nice little heart emoji. Edit content, preview, I'm going to resend these, now we can review and send. We'll wait for approval to make sure everything is good. Everybody else has checked it, but you always want to check this checklist. It's going to everyone. Surviving Valentine's Day. It's coming from Jordana. It's going to Skix. You can quickly view a preview. And then we have B, same thing but with hearts. You can view a preview. We have an unsubscribe link. We you know, we're abiding by can spam laws. Everything is looking good. Cool. So now that we checked all that, make sure the links are working, make sure it's going to the right people. We can schedule this out. We can say, go out at 2 p.m. today, Eastern, schedule campaign. And it's ready to go. Analytics will start coming in and we'll be able to see who's reading, clicking, and buying from our emails.